gastronauts and others of the food making variety. Fry the Chef here, I'm gonna make a chicken cacciatore. I have guests coming in 50 minutes, and if you look around the house, oh my God, it's all in disarray. I'm doing laundry, I've just been working my rear end off for the whole week, everything's a mess. So we gotta get the chicken cacciatore on the stove right away first, clean up the place, get it ready, and then we'll be in business. Here we go, cacciatore on Fry the Chef. It's 512, I've rinsed the chicken, I've got Two giant pans warming up. I'm gonna turn it down from high to about six on each one. I'm gonna put in some olive oil and then uh, brown the chicken. I'm going to uh, disinfect the sink. Put a little comet on the uh, sink basin. Let that sit. Let that sit a little while. Make sure you get all the chicken juice out, especially anything it touched. That sits about 10 minutes. And it'll be nice and sanitary. Chicken's cooking. Remove the laundry. Fold the t-shirts. Put away the unmentionables. Put away the t-shirts. Flip the bird. Get a nice crust. Put the line away. Okay, we're rocking. So we took the chicken out of the one pan, combined it in the other pan, and we're gonna deglaze all the goodness off the bottom. We'll do the same to this pan afterwards. Combining this sauce and that sauce, then we'll start in on our onions and garlic and rosemary. Okay, we thinly sliced a whole onion. This is the pan we deglazed. Put a little olive oil in there. Throw the onions in. We got them nice and brown and release their flavor. And then we'll put the chicken back after the onions are ready and deglaze that pan and put both juices back in this one with the rosemary and the garlic and we will stew it for an hour. Now we remove the tablecloth so we can put a brand new one without any stains on it, which is always helpful for your guests. So they think they're first grade. If you can't pull it off, hide the stains with one of your nice pieces of uh, tableware. Time to stir the onions. We're getting a nice brownness to them. That gives it a sweetness. Time to vacuum. Now we add a little rosemary from our Tuscan rosemary bush outside. Now add four cloves of garlic and some olive oil and cook very quickly just about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to add some tomato sauce and some halved cherry tomatoes after we put the chicken back in. Now we're going to add the uh, deglazed pan juices to the stock. Put a little water in, add, add a package of halved. Uh, button mushrooms, just chop them in half, add them to the pot, get them in the corners so they just sort of melt into the flavor. You should smell it now. Mm -mm. Now we add some tomato sauce. Then we're going to cover it and let it simmer for about uh, 20 minutes, then put the tomatoes in because uh, they'll get icky looking. We want them to stay a little firm. They're gorgeous. Oops, gotta put the vacuum away. Oops, forgot to make the bed. All right, got the bed. Now I'm gonna sweep up any dog turds. Now we redo the 
couch. All right, bathroom check. Put away the toothbrushes. Put away the drinking container. Gotta get the countertops. Now you know what a regular Fry the Chef evening really is like. That's what I have to do before every dinner party, and I have at least one a week. So uh, we've uh, vacuumed the carpets, cleaned up the couch, put a new tablecloth on the table, set it all up, cleaned out the kitchen, cleaned the tabletops. Now we're gonna fill a uh, nice water pitcher with filtered water and some of these incredible lemons that are here. And then we'll get back to cacciatore. To make a great lemon water, you uh, zest the lemon, then make two slices, put the slices in, and then squeeze the juice in. Don't get any of the uh, pits in. So the guests will be here any minute. It's been about an hour and ten minutes. So I'm going to cut up some bread into slices and serve it with butter in a basket. That's a nice little um, appetizer. In addition, we have the bar ready, and we're going to light the candles in a couple minutes and give it the warm, cozy feeling. Nothing like it was one hour ago. Okay, time to check the catch, Tori. That's good. You'll be back. Is my place clean? Is my place clean? No, the floor is not. No, it's clean. No, it's not. Like, all this right here is Oh, gross. kayate. 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 Never thinks it's clean. Let's see if the guests are coming. Uh -oh. No, no, you're in it. You're in it. So, yeah. so these are my uh, helpers. They're uh, helping by watching. <laughs> and we're putting in the uh, incredible heirloom cherry tomatoes into the now reduced sauce. And so we're going to let that simmer down, add the salt, pepper, and... Um, Probably a little basil and oregano, and then we serve it over the pasta. A lot of them are hard to update. All right, we're all here. We got it done. Made a little zucchini with balsamic and lemon, and then uh, here it is. It's absolutely beautiful. People have been dipping their bread into it. They love it. So I'm serving it over spaghetti. Um, we'll see what they all think. Should be great. We also have a nice salad with. Um, feta cheese and um, Mediterranean olives and lemon juice. Tono papatito. Ready? Action! Al dente puffetto. Abondanza.